Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to use four LEDs and control them to create different patterns of light and even sort of random patterns. Now, the circuit is here on the board and just like we did in the previous tutorial, we're just going to connect four of them initially through a resistor and then into the earth. So I guess if um, the first LED here is a six, I can go in and build that one. So we declare it int, we can call it LED one equals to six. We can pin mode here, pin mode LED one is an output. We could have put six instead of LED one and digital right six is high. So here we go. Where is pin six? Right there. Let me merge this for you guys. So pin six goes in there. That goes into the breadboard. Then that goes into a resistor. And then that goes into the minus the minus which hasn't been moved over and I think if I upload this that light should come on brilliant and we can kind of face it to the camera that's our start and if you want to be you know I'm gonna actually try to be a bit neat for you guys and try to make everything ultra visible I'll take this out and I'm going to do this instead. I'm not going to be doing this in future tutorials. I just want the first couple that have breadboarding to be really clear. So what you can do is if you have, um, if you've got your arrangement here with the Arduino and the breadboard are solidly in place. You can put the resistors in first and the wire. You can put the wire going into the resistor. What I normally do for myself when building circuits, I basically use these really long wires, but for visual purposes, we're going to leave it like this. So I will now wire up the rest of the LEDs. Dun, dun, dun. You can go. And it doesn't really matter which hole they go into. Guess you can go there. And you can go there. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. So. And six, eight, ten. And the last one, we're going to take some stretching. Oh, there it is. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Boom, boom. So let me have a view of the code now. Okay, so right now we can copy and paste two, three, four, eight, ten, twelve. And for the teachable moment, if we declared like LED2 as output, we should still see that LED having a little bit of power. Essentially what that output does is supply the LED with power. It kind of looks like it doesn't work. But 
all it is is that LED has now got a microscopic amount of power compared to when you declare it as an output. That's what the role of outputs are. So, one, two, three, four. And six, eight, ten. 12, so this should turn them all on. And that's pretty good. So, interestingly, these red ones, to me, they all seem equally bright, but to the camera, the red ones seem less bright. So, let's, um, let's see what we can do here. Do something interesting, put in some delays. So maybe turn them all on and then turn them all off. And then put this to low. 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 So they'll all go on, they'll all go off, and we can put a delay. Delay a thousand. Delay a thousand. Now they're blinking like that. And you can do all kinds of various things here. For example, that's going to have the lights come on one at a time. Watch that, one, two, three, four, and then they're gonna go all off together. And we can also have all kinds of patterns, the two right on, then the two left off and so on. We can have the greens and the reds alternate. It doesn't really matter. And another thing, since you declare these names and the reason why we put the names in is because when the programs get large, you may not know, for example, what six is, what eight is, is it a light, is it a buzzer, is it a button? So generally speaking, we would be replacing the numbers with the allocated names. And as you can see, I'm just literally pasting in the names and that should be a completely identical program. So that was a sloppy mistake on my part, which turned into an awesome teachable moment. And I'm kind of glad I made it. So now I need to make sure that light's okay. Now I'm gonna show you a really neat trick. I'm gonna turn one of these lights on and I'll pick a random one. Hmm. Check this out. So if we're gonna turn delay a thousand. So we're gonna use the random function in Arduino and that's random and you inside the two brackets pull in the range and the range should be one through to four. And just for fun, now I don't know if that includes the four, we're gonna find out really quickly. In Many programming languages, random includes that higher number, but I think in C, it'll be random between the first three lights. So, let's have a look. Ah, delay 100. So we should have like 10 times a second, the random light go on. Oh, what am I doing? We don't have lights. <laughs> we don't have lights one, two, three, four. We have LED one, LED two, LED three, LED four. So I could basically, since they're all between six and 12, I could write six comma 12 and we're gonna have an effect. Have a look. So the fourth one never seems to be coming on. 
So if we did 13, I believe that any of the four lights could come on. Yeah. There you have it. So I believe perhaps we could do a much, much uh, more interesting job if um, we randomized, I guess, all of them. Let me show you what I mean by that. Instead of high or low, you can use one and zero. So you can go random zero comma two. And this is gonna give us one or zero because remember we tried when we put the 12 there, the 12 didn't come. And this could be LED one, and we could copy this line for all four. And that should give us a pretty cool, um, by the way, instead of turning it off for a second, watch this. This should be pretty fun. Maybe 200 would have been a nicer delay. So it's five times a second. The status is going to change. Have a look. And there you have it. What we have generated is a pretty cool random light pattern. So just to reiterate the lessons of today, the when naming variables, you can, uh, it doesn't matter like the fact that this is text, this is just a variable name, but you say that it's an integer. So that's being a round number and you refer it to a pin. So now the number 12 and LED four are essentially interchangeable. You can write 12 or LED4 to the compiler. It's as if you're writing the same thing. We have a random function and the random function generates a random integer and it generates it between the number that's first before the comma and the number one lower than the high number. So in this case, it's a zero or a one. And, um, <clears throat> You could have had a random delay here. You know, we could have had random 100 to 600. And that in itself would make a random delay, which would make that look even more, um, oops, would require a comma. So that's how the random works. So there you have it. And one little trick for future reference, control T automatically indents everything. Excellent. I will see you in the next tutorial where we are going to introduce little push buttons that are going to control the light patterns. Bye bye.